The wise man, Paul Heyman, did an interview with Ariel Helwani this week on Ariel Helwani Meets following WrestleMania 39. The big controversial championship title match, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. My reaction to this match was quite shocked. Uh, similar to my reaction to the Undertaker streak, to be honest with you. Uh, it was very controversial. The internet very upset about the finish to this match. So Paul Heyman was asked flat out about the controversial finish to this championship match. And here's what he had to say. Check out this clip. I like the fact that everyone walks in now thinking this is the last title defense. You know, and I, I experienced this before with, with something I had a hand in ending, which was the Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. And every year you sat there and you said, oh, no, this is it. And during the match, the, the audience is actually in, anticipating and, and salivating for this to be the moment that they get to witness the historical three count on the undertaker to which to which the streak would finally end and then of course when undertaker would defend the streak they'd sit there oh yeah i don't want to see this end i can't wait to the next chapter and and then it finally ended and you know the audience was shocked because they thought they would see it they thought they would see it they thought they would no they didn't get to see it and this was year after year after year and then they finally got to see it and I think that's the same thing with Roman Reigns title defenses now. You, you hope this is the one. You think this is the one. You, you're sure this is the one. You watch the match happening and you go, you know this is the one. And then it turns out not to be the one. Oh, man. I can't wait to see the next chapter. And the response tonight to Cody Rhodes, which was louder than the response last week to Cody Rhodes, which was a response more passionate tonight for Cody Rhodes which was a response of an audience that believes in Cody Rhodes this week more than they did last week when they hung their hopes and their dreams on him. And he didn't disappoint them. We disappointed them. We took that away from Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns took that away from Cody Rhodes and the audience, and they blame Roman Reigns for it, and they appreciate how close Cody came, and they know now, they know, the next time Cody Rhodes steps in the ring with Roman Reigns. This will be the one. I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly with this. I don't think Cody Rhodes is a bigger star or has more of a fan fucking uh, following coming out of this match than he had going in. People were behind him because the story being told was designed as such to get the fans behind him, to rally the troops, to guide him, to be that man to dethrone Roman Reigns. Now, I get it. I get where... It, now, look, after my shocked reaction to this, because I was very much like... That was me, okay? But I, I started laughing. I la I started doing that, like, oh, my God. Like, the same reaction I had with The Undertaker, like that nervous laugh, you know? Like, oh, I can't believe they fucking did this. Because um, where do you go from here? Who else is left? And, and, and sure, you could continue to tell that story of Cody Rhodes. He failed. So now he has to overcome. He has to try harder. He has to come back harder. He has to double down. But as other people have said in their thoughts on this, Cody, that's assuming the fans stay behind Cody because that's not a guarantee. Look what happened in AEW. People got sick of him after a while. Fans get sick of the way WWE pushes their baby faces, especially if Vince McMahon is in charge now. Uh, who knows if the fans are even going to stay behind Cody? What if he gets hurt again and he can't make it to WrestleMania? What if somebody else gets over in his place? All these different factors. You cannot count on being able to tell a two-year story with this. You can't. Wrestling moves too fast nowadays. There's going to be too many shows between now and WrestleMania of next year where fans can turn on Cody or Cody can get hurt. Any number of things can change between now and then. So, yes, I can see someone sitting, what if we told a two-year story with this? And, and Cody loses that WrestleMania. Everybody thinks he's going to win. We build it up that he's going to win, and then he loses. 
And Roman stays dominant, and they go all the way back. Cody has to overcome all these odds and climb, scratch his way back to the main event spot again. Maybe. But are the fans going to have that same kind of momentum behind Cody Rhodes at that point? I think they dropped the ball here. I think they they uh, overthought it. I think they are putting too much credit in Cody being able to carry his baby face. He'll, I don't think he's going to be as hot next year. I don't think you can make him as hot next year. He wouldn't have been as hot going into WrestleMania this year if he hadn't have torn his fucking pack. Fans would have got sick of him already. We watched this show in AEW. Cody Rhodes, the baby face, has a short shelf life. And then people get sick of it. Because he's he's too goody two shoes. He's too he's too it's too much. It's John Cena esque. It's not gonna work. We're not gonna have this same opportunity next year. People are gonna be sick of Roman. Roman's not gonna be as hot. The bloodline's not gonna be as hot. Everything converged on this WrestleMania. And they fucking failed it. That's my two cents. Now, I get I get the idea of wanting to tell a story. I get wanting to drag this out. I get wanting to swerve people to tell, you know, Triple H, oh, this is just the end of the chapter. Blah, 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 blah. Look, Cody overcame the odds already. He had he was stardust. He had to leave and go fucking that story. Him leaving WWE is overcoming the odds. He doesn't have to overcome the odds in WWE now. That story's already... They were just telling that story. They told it. And he tore his pack. And Roman is the unstoppable force. This was Cody's time. So he's not a bigger star because of it. He does not have more support from the fan base coming out of it. That's what Paul Heyman wants you to think. That's the story that they want the audience to feel. That's how they want to try to pitch this. They want you to want to root for Cody and, and, and want him to come back harder and better next time around. But I don't think they'll get there this time. Sure, they could make a moment out of it still. Sure, they could tell that story. Sure, Cody could stay over with the fans and he could uh, stay healthy and not injured. But is he going to be as over with the fans? Is Roman going to be as over? Are fans going to want to see the same match twice in a row? Mm. I don't know. I really think somebody dropped the ball here. I really do. I think they overthought it too much. I thought they, whoever said, but what if Cody loses? Whoever came up with that idea needs to be be fucking kicked in the balls honestly I, I you just it's not even that it's a bad idea you know if you're listening to this and you're like oh you just don't fucking know you're a cody mark or you don't understand the bigger picture no i don't because we don't know that cody can stay healthy or stay over or that roman can stay healthy or stay over you are betting on a lot of shit to get us to next year's wrestlemania and if not, next year's WrestleMania, what are you going to do? Fucking just drop the title at Backlash? Fucking Backlash? Right? Joey Styles? Or what? SummerSlam? Yeah, it's going to be in Ford Field, but who cares? Is SummerSlam WrestleMania? No. Is that a WrestleMania moment? No. Who wants the SummerSlam moment? You know, Mick Foley's happy being Mr. In Your House. I don't think Cody's going to be happy being Mr. SummerSlam, though. That WrestleMania main event is what he needed. And he could come back to it and he could main event another WrestleMania as champion, win the championship. But this moment, that moment, that crowning moment, it's gone now. And now you're switching gears and you're fucking spinning him off with Brock Lesnar as a heel. <coughs> Roman's not even going to be on Backlash. What are you guys doing? I don't know. Maybe I got it all wrong, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is very nuanced. Uh, you know, like I said, I laughed. I laughed at the finish. You know, I, I got a giggle. I respect it. I said in my, I wrote up on Facebook a little review of this, you know, like, 
I don't like the finish, but I respect the finish. I respect the balls it took to do that swerve. LOL, Roman wins again. And Cody's story, Cody fails. That's a story, too. That is a story. That's a great story, too. But is it as good of a story as Cody coming back after being stardust and tearing his pack to the fucking starting AEW to the fucking coming back to the WWE, the kingdom, to the climbing the mountain, the Royal Rumble, the WrestleMania, the fan swell. The biggest storyline of the entire year, last couple years, the bloodline. All of it was perfect. Whatever they're telling, it's all fucking, you know what? I'm not saying it's impossible for it to beat this year. It's it's very possible they could get us to a point next year where we're like, oh, yeah, this is, oof. I'm excited for this Cody Roman too or whatever they do, you know, maybe it'll all make sense. And the hype machine will be there and I'll fucking have to eat my words. But I just don't like it. It just doesn't feel right. I think they dropped the ball. But that's just my two cents. Just a guy yelling at my microphone in my basement. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. Oh, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Yeah. And you can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on the channel. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. <laughs>